Hi everybody, this is Frog Snack, and this is the test of time challenge. I've not played for quite a long time, and I have no idea how many episodes we are in. There's about a dozen or so. If you can tell, I'm in a new household, and it's actually not a new household. We've seen a lot of Philomeno Salson. Uh, we've seen some of Maria McEdifus. It looks, seems like everybody's just taking care of little things right now. Philomena is breastfeeding. That's a mod that I have that I mentioned in one of my other videos. I love it because they can use the rocking chair and then they get their energy up at the same time. I'm a little surprised it doesn't make the mother hungry. Um, and that is... Who's she with right now? Hang on a second. Um, August. So the children have unusual names. August is a son. I always think of Nike as a boy's name, even though traditionally it's only a girl's name. But in my mind, I, I don't know, wearing a lot of sneakers and playing sports. Maybe I'm <laughs> being silly, but I just imagine it to be a boy's name every time. And yet it's a girl, you know, and it's always been a girl. So I think that's funny, but I get confused. That's my own problem. So um, we have Nike. We have Isocrates, um, who is a boy, and that is the heir. That's actually Hermes Salson's son. So Hermes and Philomena, who are married, Hermes is taking care of. It's actually right next door. I don't know if we can see it in the dark. Uh, but he is the caretaker for the gladiator household, which is finally called by its right name. So Philomena lives next door with um, their children. So they have three children. So they have Nike, Isocrates, and August. So it's actually, a, the girl is the oldest, and then Iso... Wait a second, stepbrother. Hang on a second. Yeah, no, they're actually properly related. It's so weird. If you go into Philomena's timeline here, you can see Nike, Isocrates, and August are all brothers and sisters. So I don't know why it's saying step. I'm not sure about that one. Um, and then Spuria is Maria's daughter uh, between Italo and her. So, of course, they liked each other enough to have a baby together, but they can't be married because he's a cove and she's just not. She's a slave. So it's it's five steps. There's really five different casts in this um, story. And so Italo just can't marry an edifice. He just can't. So unfortunately, that's not going to happen. It's too far uh, in the cast system. So it's not even where she's just one below, which is completely allowed, or where you could make um, an exception for it. So they do have a love child together, which is part of the reason that Maria is the slave for this household, because she is taking care of her child, but also taking care of uh, the gladiatorial children. Um, or Philomena and Hermes's children. So if Philomena wants to go do whatever she wants for a day and, and knock off and leave Maria here alone to handle four children, she has complete rights to do that. Although so far, both women have been taking care of children um, equally nicely. So, and I did have them age up a little bit here. I finally got my game to the point that it's allowing TS2 style aging, which is wonderful. So that's one of the things you can get with Nuraz mods. So the other families in town are not aging and this family is. <clears throat> yes, and everybody's exhausted. She finally got to the point, I don't know when she even went to the bathroom and all that, but uh, right. So I'm not having them sleep normally. I'm utilizing the rocking chairs just because they're so awesome. And Spuria here looks like is hungry. So what you can do is, um, <laughs> Snuggler. Do some nice mommy things. And then her bladder's not full enough. And then we can just click on the rocking chair and go to breastfeed Spuria. It automatically chooses her children. So um, Maria it can't breastfeed children that are not hers, which is a little silly. In real life, it doesn't work that way. But I understand where they're coming from with it. So, But that's how the mod works. So yeah, it's been pretty crazy. So far, we've had a lot of sinks and things be broken. I've played them for a couple of days already, and I'm just playing out the rest of it to see where it goes so I can move on to another family um, and get more of these families played or actually, um, you know, get them to live through more things. So and what is she doing? They have the weirdest instincts where they set the child down and the child might be exhausted. Is that uh, August? Right, so you have August, it's like not necessarily a girl's name, right? I think it's pretty good for a boy, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, can you potty train him? There you go. While you're at it, why don't you do something? Okay, um, and then I have story progression turned on, so unless it annoys me, I can leave it on for now. Um, and if I start seeing weird people get married, then I'm going to turn it right off again, so that's really what I... I have a love-hate relationship with story progression, 
but I'm using all of my Neuraz mods right now, so. Hmm. Okay. Who else? Okay, so they also go through the entire, um, like, the it's like a restful period, and it takes a while to breastfeed, and then it's at the end of that that their hunger bar actually fills. So it takes a minute, um. And then, of course, they get a little nice moodlet, so she gets peaceful baby, and Maria gets peaceful mama. And she got a little bit of rest. She was completely exhausted, and now she's not. Um, and now August can be potty trained, so I'm going to have Maria do that, unless this has to be emptied. Nope. Oh, Spuria, sorry. I keep thinking August is the girl with blonde hair, and it's not. It's Spuria, and August is the boy who is bald. Oh, so I'm doing so well here. Right, so she's still... Uh, breastfeeding which is nice and then again this is one of the few ways that their uh, energy can fill up so I think this is one of the things a rocking chair actually does in real life so it's a pretty good comparison and see I could have Maria breastfeeding so Crowdy's in real life you could do that but uh, she can't because it's not her child she's just like what is that smell what is wrong with you <laughs> it was great and her kid comes out and immediately starts picking her nose aww and that's a great picture I think right oh my gosh she looks so dramatic <laughs> I usually haven't taken a lot of photos in a while but uh, I think that one's pretty good I don't know I think there's like a hide icons cheat and I know one of you will probably remind me of it but uh, that's what I need to be using <laughs> she looks so bored she's like yeah so what? They're crying. That's what they do. Oh man. She almost looks like she's voguing a little bit, but she's not. <laughs> that cranks me up quite a bit. Okay, stop your voguing. Oh, I also have this really cute, uh, it's actually, it looks like a little drum set. It's a replacement for the, um, the musical chimes. And I thought it was a little bit more realistic. Some drums were in the Roman era. They do have little modern looking stripes on them, but kind of backfires because the peg box is still completely normal looking so it's like you find mods for one and not mods for the other and she needs a nap but somebody's smelly oh he's really smelly all right well uh we're gonna change his dirty diaper for him give him a bottle i wish you could bottle feed on the um hmm bottle feed on the thing but you really can't so Okay, let's put him down here, and then I'm gonna let her go over here, just take a nap. Oh, yeah, she needs a nap, okay. Um, so Philomena, oh, she's standing up, well, jolly decent of you. Love watching the new lovebirds comment a commented a looky-loo after spying on Logi Kova and Elise Fahadina. Ooh. Okay, so these two, again, this is a similar situation. Uh, Fahadin and Edifice are the two slave families. So these two cannot get married. So I have to make sure my mod does not marry them. But I did go back. Um, la 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 la. Well, it'll give me a, a notice if they get engaged. I have the mod set to get them engaged for a day. And then they can get married for another day. But it depends on how um, often the updates, this isn't a little update from the mod, how often I let those run according to game minutes. And I think they're set to like 500. And if you guys know the amount of minutes in a sim day, I do not. So, you know, tell me. So I'm just going to write down Loki Kova and Elise Fahadina. And he's like old enough to be her dad, so that's a little creepy from what I remember. I could be wrong, but I think Loki is... Yeah, I'm um, too old for her, but whatever. I do have it set so that teens can have babies because, of course, here you have Maria, who is a teen who just had a baby, and she's a teen for another 10 days. So um, I wanted it to be a little more realistic. I, I kind of struggled with that decision, but I thought, you know, it does make sense. Um, so, All right, so those two are in a relationship. Oh, child music musicians, great. All right, so an air traps are moving vehicles, which is great because there shouldn't, um, they shouldn't exist. No, you don't want to... No, you don't want that. All right, what does Philomena want? Dollhouse and to join the science career. Perfect mind, perfect body. You know, she could really be working on these things here. I would think that there's logic in here, but maybe there's not. And it looks like everything's broken. There's just water. Is that something that's actively broken? No, but they've repaired a lot. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, I did put it in a little workout room. 
It's just that she doesn't have a chance. Oh, and she's automatically breastfeeding, which that's another thing I love about this mod. You don't have to tell them. So she could do that standing or she can sit and then she'll rock with her son after, assuming... He doesn't need the social, actually. He needs fun. So why don't you... No, you're not using the stairs. Why don't you put him down? I'd love to have her clean the house, but I, I'm actually going to have them both take naps because while the babies are happy... Whew, the children... Yeah, the ladies need to nap. And she does not need to be put in her crib, so that's another thing they automatically do. So I'm going to let Spuria out again. And then we're going to let August out. Hang on. And then you're going to nap like five times. <laughs> All right. Uh, and you, let's see. Yep, Socrates is fine. And Nike, he's hungry, bladder issues, and social. Okay, so we'll have her. No, you're not doing that either. Okay, Isocrates is the one that's out, and that's why she gets the opportunity, I guess. Um, but you can attack with a claw there. Okay, so hunger, bladder, social. So that'll take care of a little bit of the social for him. For her. Dag nabbit. I gotta give her long hair, that's what it is. Um, cause, well, she's got cute hair. She got a little bow in her hair. I didn't change their clothing either, um, so it's very modern clothing. Usually I go back and change everybody's clothes, but um, if you can tell her mama's wearing, um, you know, <laughs> her peeking acrobats outfit anyway, so <laughs> she just kind of had a unique outfit in the first place, Philomena did. Now, she was a slave and she married up, so that's why she's a Salsin now, which is great because all of her children um, are free. So, um, let's see... Socially social. Um, mm -mm -mm. Have her tickle or something. And then we'll breastfeed and then she'll rock with and that'll be nice. And all the other kids can do whatever they want basically. So they can run around and use the different things that help them to learn. Sculpting is a passion so Delaria Buckhoise as of late Spying the sim hauling some rather large blocks of material around her home, a neighbor commented. I've got some really commenty neighbors. <laughs> I'm amazed she hasn't been gaining athletic skill with all the work. Well, she really should be, but... So that's cool. She might be gaining some skill in some things. And that's the other thing I like about the story progression. And this is like them just completely... Completely dead tired. And that's your new, new mom for you. <laughs> And Philomena manages to look bored. Well, okay, she manages to look blurred out. But she just looks bored no matter what she's doing. She's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yup. <laughs> That's what she looks like. <laughs> All right, Kemri has improved his fishing skill. That's great. Oh, new types of fish. All right, well, good job. Apparently, he's got some time on his hands. I thought he was running a business and... An entire household and an empire and all that, but uh, apparently he's fishing. Look at you picking your nose. Why don't you go do something? All right. Check and mate. Oh, right. Okay, chess. Hermes, Buck, Kale. This is the other Hermes. There are two Hermes in this game. Uh, and I forget her name. The chick who marries everybody in her old age. Brat creation. So this is because I just started Naraz Mods. It's created a brat, a gigolo, a magnate, which I, I don't know if that's somebody who just has a lot of money. It could be Bupkis is level two, you know, if I call Cove level one, so it's level two below Cove. Bike, of course, because everybody's had a ride. Vigilante. Um, I haven't had the G Vigilante and the Robin, like Robin Hood. I haven't had those before, but it was funny to me because a lot of these assignments match their personalities. And what Naraz does is it takes their personalities into account and, um, let's see, hang on, come on over here and play with the blocks. Do something useful. I wish they could play with each other. I think it's really silly that, um, that toddlers don't play with each other. Because in reality, they, um, hang out quite a bit, you know? Alright, how's mom doing? She's got just a touch of energy. It's really not much. 
So uh, that's always a little sad. I'm gonna go ahead. I want to buy a dollhouse. I feel like these children would be really spoiled. Um, she's completely out. Nap time. And how's Berea doing? She's not hungry again just yet, so you can go ahead. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh golly, take a minute. <laughs> okay, she can nap after this. So I'm going to let the parents get their sleep on. We've got somebody who's unhygienic, but that's really... <sighs> playing in a giant puddle. I, I had one of them repair this, and apparently they were too tired and gave up halfway, so the puddle is just humongous now. And I feel like their children can drown in it. Oh, this is great, too. They've been reading their own little books since uh, the children can have books. Oh, okay, so now she's talking about um, being a sculptor. That's lovely. Oops, okay, so let's see if we have them open. And which one is a children's book? None of them. I think this one is. So, yeah, I forgot. If you leave books out, the toddlers will read them, which is nice. And something I recently discovered. Mm. But I don't think this is a kid's book. Let's see if I can, if it lets me read with. Oh, Frank, I'm not. Well, where's that book? Oh, here it is. Oh, see, that's great. Okay, so she immediately goes over to the book to read. And this is a skill-related book. Handprint, so that's going to teach her painting. Finger painting, I thought would, but I don't see. But I don't see it. Totally committed to each other. Okay, so now they're in a committed relationship, which should not be social knowledge because, you know, um, the class system. That's so cute. Reading to herself. That's great. Alrighty. So the kids are doing well. They've all got something going on. Is this the smelly one? Yeah, well, um, what are you doing? Eating your hands? Instead of eating your hands, why don't you read this lovely book? This would count towards, too, anybody who wants to be a writer later, this would count towards it. Now, Maria just chose her lifetime wish of being an author, so master painting and writing. These are things that she might be able to do as the children go o get older, but I don't know. It's nice that she has a dream at her age, so... Photography. That doesn't exist yet, so that's a little disappointing, but, you know, whatever. Alright, who else is doing nothing? I think all the kids are reading. Oh, you're playing with... You're playing with a, a toy, something that doesn't exist yet, so why don't you go play with the drums, and I'll delete the truck because it shouldn't exist. <laughs> right? Great. Sorry about that, kid. But at least animals... Sheep. I love the toy sheep. At least animals exist. Okay, Alicia Rossi is not a sim for my game. I I have the option to run the homeless out of town, but I'm like a little paranoid that one of those homeless is one one of my actual sims from the game. Well, we're just getting our naps on. And kids are teaching themselves stuff, and he loves being alone. Oh, that's great. Repossess. Okay, well, um, you know. Whatever. Let's see what he takes so we can put it back. <laughs> I'll we'll just buy it again. I never got a, a note about paying bills for them. Now in here, a verb there, so da tuck. Alright, good for you. Maybe they'll take some of this stuff I never use. This is a really beautiful lot. I haven't even bothered to keep it from looking modern. Usually I have to unmodernize these things and it's all aluminum siding. I went ahead and adjusted the garage earlier. This is hidden. Hmm. Right, so this is the garage right now, which is something that I might do for everything else. But it's actually, I think, made of a foundation. But what I ended up doing is adding this little side area. And it goes down, so I kind of have this nectar tasting area. Okay, that's nice. And all of this is full of nectar, so these are things that I just... And it took me a lot longer than it should have, but I just put this all together. And what it was is I was able to go through the game and I found all of Kale's nectar that he keeps creating. And this is completely full and has all of his nectar in it. So I was going to create, like, um, their keepers of his treasure or something. I don't know. I just wanted to put it all in one place. And then what happens through the ages is I'm hoping to sort of bury this and have Sims discover it generations later and see what all the nectar is worth 
I've always kind of wanted to do that, and this seems like the perfect situation to do it in. And now she's hungry, but look, her energy's almost full for the first time ever. Mm -mm. Great, so three naps did it. And so the kids are a little tired, but the parents actually got naps in for once. And it looks like somebody peed themselves. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to have her clean house when she's done with her next nap. And I'm going to stop her from rocking so she can find something else to do. Change dirty diaper. Good woman, okay. And then you're not putting them in the crib. <laughs> Oh, golly. Okay. Um, in fact, you can probably repair this as soon as you're done there. Oh, there you go. We learned something. Sparia has learned all she can from handprints of the masters. Okay, that's great. She's going to read it again. And we learned nothing from Finger Painting 101, which I would think... Did this just reduce the water by her repairing the sink? Maybe I'm reading too much into it, y'all. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is the house where everybody just repairs things and they go stir-crazy. Oh, and their stuff was taken. Uh, I have no idea where. I didn't even see the repo man. He should have repossessed these. But it looks like he didn't go to the rooms that were... that we have things in. I have no idea what he took. Did he go upstairs? Maybe he took a bed or something. He took something from here, right? A dresser? Yeah, probably took a dresser. Or a light? Oh, there's nothing in here. Who cares? <laughs> he must have gone straight upstairs and repossessed things. And uh, I guess this is like the ballet studio. I forgot I had created one of these. But I didn't have a ballet bar in it yet. Well, let's take our ballet bar. Although I kind of like it down here. This gives them exercise too, which is another thing that I love. Well, that I love. There's nothing I don't like. <laughs> All right, I'm a very simple person. Okay. Um, Dog Tuck is writing. Frank, I'm not. I don't know what that. I don't know if that's another artist one. Wow, Amadi's level 10. Holy biscuits. Well, good thing he's not in the games. He'd be marking everybody. <laughs> Alright, keep in touch with our strange family. Aw, well that's nice. Ming's been out of town trimming down the locals with some personal fitness advice. Oh, okay, so he was training. That's cool. Well, double-sized bacon cheeseburgers don't exist, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, so anyway, oh lordy, vile surroundings, straight vile. Will nothing make you happy? She's cooking in it. <laughs> well, nobody told you to cook in it. <laughs> Philomena is oh, recycling. Let's see. Seems like a waste of your time. Work, work, work. That's all Kale Cove seems to be doing. Good, you should. But it's not office work that's taking up his time. It's home repairs. Uh, and I like fixing things. Gosh, he doesn't, though. He's lazy. That's the emperor, and he's really lazy, so that's just a lie. All right. Kids are unhygienic and or tired. How's August? Ooh, she's hungry now, too. All right. Well, mm, no. Oh, golly. They have to all stop reading. Change dirty diaper. Good. She thought of it before I could tell her. Alright, I might have her stop. Um, Hermes Bubkale. No, you don't got time. Okay, good job. Oh my gosh, she's so smelly. And so hungry. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna see if Maria can handle the four children. Oh, she probably can't though, because if she's stopping a breastfeed. In here, it takes a little bit longer than standing up. Oh, didn't know what I would have done if Terpsichore hadn't shown up. So he made his daughter fix his nectar machine, but it broke because he uses it all the time. So I find that very ironic. And Dronicus Cove, he aged up. He looks so cute. Well, okay. And I don't care about that. Oh my golly. Okay, so she's exhausted. So then we'll put Spuria in the crib. 
Mm. And then we're gonna feed him on the floor. Oh, wait, 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 we're not doing that yet. Hang on. You're going to change dirty diaper and then feed on floor. Mm, you're gonna change your diaper and feed on floor. Wait, do you need it though? Soon. Eh, whatever. Whatever. And, uh, change dirty diaper and feed on floor. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that one first. Right, so I don't mind lots like this. They keep you kind of busy. <laughs> they really do. So, but thankfully, since the ladies have gotten some rest, all these toddlers are not so difficult to handle. Come on, Maria, get stuff done. Maria is also one of the first Sims to have a Christian name instead of like the typical Roman names like Isocrates. I have no idea why she named her daughter Spuria, but I'm guessing that it would be because Atalo and now Svetlana was a uh, cast sim that was captured in raids and so that's why she was brought to the Roman world but or to the Roman lands but she does not have a Roman name so Svetlana is Russian I believe and um so whatever was before Russia I'm sorry I'm sure someone can correct me on that <laughs> and uh yeah, so that's in honor of Atalo, or we can assume that maybe Atalo named the child, although he doesn't claim the child and has, I think, never been over to visit. So. <clears throat> Alright, so Maria's making the rounds. Oh, and got crying kids everywhere, and Philomena's cleaning the house. It's good to have a neat sim for that. That's really kind of awesome. I'm going to have her clean the house after she puts the food away. <clears throat> Amphion Bupki Sona showed his prowess on the chess field, defeating Philly Salsoria with ease. Good job. Philly's got some 80s hair. <laughs> she looks so silly. Mm. Romance is in the air. Okay, now that is creepy. That's creepy. Hmm. Why is it creepy? Because I think she's a teen. Hang on a second. I'm the one that started this problem, but still. So Siddhartha, I'm writing it down. Fahadina. Now, if I want to check on these these sims, I basically go to City Hall, and then I select them through Naraz and make them active, and that's how I look them up and find out what their relationship status is. Okay, so dating and dating. So these are just like little romances. But yeah, you would think they would know better than to be parading their affections all over town. But maybe they don't know better. Alright, now, she's doing what I didn't tell her to do, so it's probably a bad idea. Wait, how tired is August? Oh good, she's got... That's great, she's actually doing the right thing for once. Oh, I took these books out on purpose, and she wants to clean that up. But I just told her to put the food away. Put away the leftovers, then clean the house. Mm -hmm. Boyd Salsona is painting. Now he's like Gen 2 or 3. He's like an early, early Gen of Sims. Generation, I mean. Madonna Athletic. Alicia Rossi. I never created her, so you shouldn't have spawned her then. She shouldn't exist. Game. Talking to you. Okay. Uh, August, what's up? Tired. And tired. No. <sighs> Nike, put her to bed. There you go. See? She's exhausted. And this might have worked out really nicely with them taking their naps. They took care of the children first and then they were doing uh, not so well. So we sold some things. That's always lovely. Oh, wow. He can take on historical books. Okay. Age and wisdom. He's not that old, though. Hmm. That's cool. Somebody's been sitting around writing. Hermes, we're not going there. Dido, writing skill. Okay, so I guess a lot of people are writing. Um, ew. Hot and heavy. Are you a teen or not? <laughs> I need to figure that one out. <laughs> I'll look them up off camera. Okay, uh, Nike's going to bed. Maria's making faces. Whatever. Here, empty that. Alright, so she's got tons of stuff to do. So she's still doing things. Um, okay, Trevor and Seifut. That's another one where this guy's practically got grandkids and Seifut. Well, she's an adult, though. 
Um, but no, Trevor should be married, and he's the one that him and his wife keep cheating on each other, and this is what I'm talking about. He's just got... He's slightly insane. I think the game just assigned him as the, the town loon. And usually the town loon it just gives things away, like money. Um, so say fought Fahadina. I kind of like Seifat too. She's pretty cool. Okay, so they're together, quote unquote. Broken up, and these two have been... Oh, no, no, no. These are like the children of the founding <laughs> generation. <laughs> this is why I disabled progression. That actually means they don't like each other a lot, though, because I did give a limit to that. So, Billy and Boyd. Man. I can't see them breaking up. No way. Neil has a brand new home right here in town. Terpsichore. Okay, so that's at, uh... Terpsichore is, um... Well, she she married and moved away. You know, it was a couple episodes ago we've seen her her and her kids, so... Billy Salsona was absolutely beaming. She's talking about her new, brand new home. Oh, lordy. Harmony home on man... Okay. Broke up. <laughs> this can't happen. Okay, and Billy moved... So, I'm going to go check personality traits and see if I think that's appropriate. Um, right. Pet immigration. Don't mind that. Existing friend Trevor and Seyfod. Okay, so now it says that they're just friends. Uh, which is interesting. Partnered Alexis and Siddhartha. And those two are just flirting. Okay, so that's cool. That's pretty neat. I think after midnight or this day so after the next morning maybe we'll start or i'll end the episode and we'll start something else i didn't want um to have these all be one hour again because i have to rewatch everything to make sure it's suitable before i upload it so um i don't want you guys to be bored or have a lot of extra filler content when i i kind of came to realize i can play a little bit off camera you guys don't want to see all the boring stuff i mean we just took care of a whole bunch of kids but when i was making this beautiful basement um, I didn't do a, you know, a let's build. It was pretty simple to put it together. But that's the kind of thing that you probably don't want to see me doing, which is moving all of the nectar bottles around, because all of these have... Yeah, it's awful. So if I open it, apple cherries, and it's, it's all by Kale Cove, so it's all stuff that he made. So like I said, I found a way to select it and grab it out of his inventory and bring it over here. So this is just kind of a nice little area, and I already went ahead and made all the metal look... Uh, like it's worn and they have some general treasures in that too. So just kind of cool. And there was something up there which uh, vanished. It's a little odd. Um, Alba is a toddler. Whoa, okay, hang on. So now we have children not in this house aging up. So that's actually a challenge that I'll have to figure out. Oh, she's dancing. Okay, well, all right. You go ahead and dance. Okay, so... Alba. I'm writing her down too, because she should not be aging. Brought their first home together. Oh my gosh, he's moved away from his wife for like the fourth time. <laughs> Trevor and say what? Okay. Home together. All right, so I'll probably disable this for a little while just so I have less sims to chase around. Brad writing over a cold juice, muttering about the economy. Okay, well, uh, you know, way to go. Way to be, I guess. That's great. She has time to bring her fun up. This is lovely. All right. Well, and then she's going to go read something. Is she, though? I think she should have fun with the kids, but the kids are all napping. Oh, and some... Well, you know what? I think she actually needs to keep her sleep up. I'm sorry, lady. I know you want to rest. And she just cleaned the whole house. But I think instead, I'm going to have you come over here and nap and be ready for the next child who wakes up. I love how clean house came up as an option again. Like, how many times could she possibly? And another way to do this to give them a little bit of rest is to pick the one that needs energy or that needs social and to rock with them. And nobody needs social, so I think we're okay with that. I'm just going to let her, I think, have a proper nap just so that she's a little bit ahead of the game next time. And yeah, everybody's exhausted and stir crazy, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, hiding his true financial worth from the courts. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. He's worth everything. Bermuse, 
Neighbors were bemused to watch Trevor Fahadina paying his bills recently. Seems he has something like a lot of child support going out the door. Okay. Deadbeat parent. Seifat has been suspected. Okay, so she just moved out with her lover, so that's not too surprising. Criminal actions of the sinister Greta Bupke Sona. Watch the bank, your bank accounts. Oh, she's a kingpin, so she's been assigned. Taicho just aged up. Sorry, I'm writing this down too. Um, or Tycho. Hmm, he's a child now instead of a toddler. Corina. Uh, I think these are in the Emperor's household. Zosimos, I don't remember where Zosimos is. But that's a child as well. Oh, you know what? I think this is progression aging them up. Because I have aging on, and so it's taking... It shouldn't be aging them at all, though. I'll have to look at that. But they all share, like if I were to look at Philomena and go to Naraz and go to story progression and cast, it should tell me who she is. So she's currently in the active family, rentable. That means she can rent an area or something. Disgraced by age. I don't know what that means. She's female. She's a young adult. Oh, wait a second. So I see what might be happening here. And let me go back out and check their household. Again, story progression and cast options. Oh, and I don't see. Okay, so it's not denoting what cast she's a part of. Um, now, there's two ways to assign casts in this, and that is to go by, by each sim or to go by household. I had it set by household, and I'll tell you, I should do a whole video on Raz mods because they are fun, but they are complicated. And the cast system is one of the most complicated that I've seen. And I need Naraz again. Yeah, so... Add new cast and it gives her a name, but I don't want to do that. Alright, so I'll check that out and we'll figure it out what's going on. But it seems like that's not correct either, even though I reloaded everything. So we'll figure it out. Let's have Maria learn... Let's have her warm up mm, and not break a sweat. Do some ballet. The only weird thing about the ballet bar is they kind of know the positions already. Although that's awkward looking, but still. She's pointing her toes right in that. She's got her feet positioned right. There seems to be no awkwardness in them learning it. So I don't know. Dequan's been a bad sim. <laughs> well, that's because, you know, he's the one we just played an episode or two ago that is a loner and all that and kind of goes from girl to girl. So I'm not surprised at all that he's in there. All right. Well, anyway, I guess I ended up playing this one family the whole time. I'm going to end the episode here. And this is what's going on with Philomena's household. And uh, Maria, I wanted to give her the ability to write books, but that's not happening now. So <sighs> I'll see if I can get some things started, but I got plenty to sort out with my game now. Um, I'm going to tell you guys all, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed watching the sim develop sims developments with me and uh i hope you have a wonderful afternoon evening whenever you're watching this and you know seize the day have a little bit of fun here and there but then go do something really meaningful and purposeful and that is fulfilling in your life also um sometimes i watch uh sims 3 playthroughs when i'm cooking you know and getting something else done so if you're using it that way let me know i'm always curious about what prompts others to watch these videos because i know why i watch them which is not, um, <laughs> doesn't answer a lot of questions for me. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk.